Hey yo, my name is Angie Z and I'm here to say that I'll be talking about cells today. It all started out with Robert Hooke who decided to look into a microscope and talk about living Hooke, that is a long name, saw some bacteria and he made a claim. Schwann and Schleiden who were just Jerry got together and made the cell theory. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. Hooks other parts of a cell and Eureka he yelled. The cell membrane is very key because it controls what enters and leaves. The lysosomes, they break down food, which will be later chewed. Ribosomes are small, but the role is tall. They're like machines producing proteins. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. Another important part, which shouldn't be shown, the Golgi bodies are number one. They receive things through the reticulum and send them away until it's done. The endoplasmic reticulum is part of our curriculum and it's important to us because it's like a bus. To the Golgi's, it delivers stuff. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. Then there is the nucleus, which isn't very new to us. It controls the cell's action, including reproduction. In a plant cell only, there is a cell wall, which makes it lonely. It doesn't care at all. Vacuoles store food and water. In a plant cell, it's broader than their animal brothers. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. I'm rapping about cells, I hope it rings a bell. So that is my story, it's easy to tell, the parts of a living cell.